Hey, welcome back, and we are going to be panning some of these um, ABH shadows here. I've got a couple of palettes that I'm going to remove, so I've labeled all of the pans that are actually available as singles. There we go. So you guys are up in my kitchen. I'm filming this on my glass top stove, my range, and I'm using it at just like a Z Potter. And if you're new here, I'm Kendra Morgan Official. I put out content weekly centered around single eyeshadows, makeup brushes that aren't Morphe, and sunscreen. So if you like that kind of content, please be sure to subscribe. All right, so here, oh gosh, this is hot. Okay, I don't even think it's on anymore. I barely turned, so let me show you real quick. I barely turned this on, right? Like just the very bare, and I thought, well, if I keep this moving, <laughs> maybe it'll be okay to use this like a Z Potter. Is it hot? Oh, no, nah, it's not really hot. But I got a parchment paper down here. I've got some other tools, but I will leave in the description box probably all the tools because I don't know what I'm gonna be using yet, but I've got this. I'm just kind of leaving it on here and just blinding you all with this uh, mirror, but also just moving this around. I've got Dusty Rose Burnt orange and noir i'm going to put a little heat to the bottom of the thing hopefully just pop the pants right out and then <clears throat> i will show you guys um this really cool tool that i've got that can cut magnetic adhesive and then we can hopefully get some magnetic adhesive laid down and then um these can be removable pans i there used to be a lot more abh shadows that were in palettes that were available as singles but now they're not there's it seems like abh discontinued quite a few of them so unfortunately like i'm gonna get out as many as abh offers so here we have dusty rose burnt orange orange soda and noir and this is from the soft glam and then i will also do the the shadows from my modern renaissance palette but i will say this there's none that are in the sultry that are available as singles and none that are in the norvina or um, subculture twig used to be available but now I guess they must have um... okay so it's warming it up just nicely this is just literally a range top electric range top it's a whirlpool it's at the very very lowest setting that I can possibly have it on without being off and I'm just kind of keeping this moving around got a piece of parchment paper here so that this um, sticker doesn't like get melted to the actual glass range top but if it did it wouldn't be that big of a deal but i just i don't want to have to clean any more than i already had to all right so as i'm letting that kind of warm up i'm just showing you here i'm gonna first try to extract with just one of these like magnetic things to pop it out and then i will use this okay so i think we've got um this that i'll try to use second all right that's where i left off i had a phone call i had to take you know it feels like it's kind of warm it's not like too hot to the touch but it does feel kind of warm so let me see if like one of these would just happen to pop out sometimes you can get the glue to get hot enough that you can just no nope, that's not gonna work and here's the other thing is i'm gonna have to go and grab my hobby lobby one because this is actually too thick oh yep see i'm already jamming it right into the shadow so i'm just gonna let that sit right there and i will go ahead and grab my hobby lobby one i'll show you guys i will also link that for you down below as well because it is so much thinner than the actual depotting tool but i also have these um scissors right here you know what i might just use those should i feel like we should we should have a trial run Let's do this rose pink. You know how I feel about pinks. So I don't really care about to pour them too much. Oh, that popped out really well. And there's like no heat to it. This is plastic, by the way. So here it is. And then here's the bottom. The stickiness is still there. So let's put that back in. You know, it might just be okay to just kind of go with it. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and try the noir one first. So I'm just kind of jiggling it all the way down in the corner and then I'm just going to fling it up. Do you see that? Oh yeah, it's working. Okay, I'm going to shut this off because now I, I, I do smell a little something to the tune of burnt plastic. I don't want to alarm anybody, but <laughs> there you go. I got her and 
it is not warm to the touch at all but i i will say that like it popped out like it was warm i don't know i don't know if this even did anything or not but okay here's the next one uh, i can't get my uh my scissors in here here maybe this is the one that i should be using Yeah, this one is actually kind of tightly in there, so. Oh, there we go. And of course you can't see it naturally. There we go. Then once you get it down in there, which of course you can't see. Oh. Well, you're just supposed to fling it up, but. So some of them must have gotten warm enough and some of them not so warm. Okay, I feel like you can see from that angle really well. There we go. <laughs> Got her. Okay. Um, let's also see the back. I don't know why, but I just like to show the backs for some reason. Yeah, and this is like plastic down in here. That's kind of cool. Um... Okay, it's still, like, it's not too hot to the touch, but I don't know that I would want to, like, leave my finger on there for any length of time. Ooh, that one hurt. <clears throat> my finger. Just be real careful when you're doing this. The, I mean, you're dealing with sharp tools here, folks. Okay, here we go. Awesome. Popped this puppy right out. And then orange soda. I used to think sienna and rustic. And I I know for certain cypress umber used to be a single. Was it not? Am I just crazy? Like maybe I even have that single. Okay, this this mirror feels a little warm. I'm gonna get my finger back in case. Oh, ho, ho, casualty number. And it's orange soda, folks. Folks, we are going downhill fast. Oh boy, boy, scarred that one up good, didn't I? Ah, that's a little bit discouraging. Oh, and then I just, oh, there, she popped right up. The thing is, is she's in there tight. So just be, you know, be mindful. Look at that scar. That's like straight needing stitches. It's so bad. All right. Anyways, there you have it. There's the first one. And I just used a range top, so I don't think you need the Z Potter. Okay, we got that established. And it's like warm, but not too terribly warm. So let me, <laughs> let me scoot you all over to the next part. Okay. Nobody wants to see my blender. Let's just see if I can put my uh, scissors in here and just pop them out without any heat. Because ideally, um, I like to use physical force right and that's like you know pressure i guess physical then i like to use heat and lastly would be chemical chemicals any type of where you're you know scraping out and then adding uh some alcohol to the mix and whatnot and then basically chemically rearranging it okay so i'm gonna jab down in Oh yeah, this is not coming up whatsoever. Like it's not budging at all. So it does need a little bit of heat to it, okay? I'm gonna move you guys back over. All right, I'm gonna keep this on here for, I keep it on about three to five minutes total, I would say. I'm not like, I don't have my watch on right now, so I actually couldn't really tell you. But I just kind of keep it and then I move it around gently for about three to five minutes. And the bottom, you won't even really feel that it's like that warm. Is, is the stove on? Okay, there it is, it just kicked on. So you do need to have a little heat to it, folks. Unfortunately, we were not able to um, assemble it. I could feel that it needed a little bit of heat to it, so. Just gonna keep this moving and I will be right back. Okay, folks, we are back here. I kinda situated you at a better angle so we can hopefully get a good look at exactly the technique that I'm using. Um, okay, so let's do another. <laughs> so 
So I thought that Primavera and te I thought Tempera used to be a single, but I guess not. Which one do I not care about? Mm, probably Golden Ochre. Actually, I use that quite a bit. Let's try Raw Sienna. I think that's available in another single. Okay, so again, placing my scissors in between, wedging it in, and then just... Okay, it's not coming up very easily, so I am just ever so slightly going to turn the heat on a little bit more. Mm, sorry, I get kind of warm. Just trying to get a little bit of heat to this. Yeah, it did feel like the palette was just like nice and warm to the touch, not like hot or anything. So the chances of it actually disintegrating or uh, denaturing, I guess is the term, when you heat something up like that, would have, it would be pretty pretty rare. I mean, I don't I don't feel like it's getting any hotter than like a hundred degrees maybe. The other ones didn't have any issues coming up. For some reason, these do. Maybe it really just was that the Soft Glam palette had easier shades to get out. Let me try Fairy. I know I don't use that one because it's kind of a yellow-based shadow, so I don't use it very often. Oh, yeah, it just came right up. So, <laughs> oh, and look at that. That's a different type of pan. Hmm. Did you guys see that? That's Fairy from the uh, Soft Glam. That's really interesting, though, because this one's really difficult to get out. And this also feels like it's cardboard. Well, so does that. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, here we go. I'm just doing real gar because I feel like um, I'd be okay without it. It did come out, but folks, I will say it cracked. And I've got the heat on for it. I mean, I'm putting the heat to her, folks. And look. Look what we got. Oops. Sorry. I've also got a little light over here. I'm trying to... It's part of my little holder. But yeah, she cracked pretty good. Hmm. I don't, I really don't know. Uh, this is kind of a different glue, it feels like. It feels like the same type of palette. It feels like a different type of glue. The other glue was like almost non-existent. This glue feels like there's quite a bit more. And it, this is also very tightly put in there. There's absolutely no spacing. I don't want to take it off of the thing because I really do want to get a little bit, a little bit hotter. Okay, now I feel it. Oh, yeah, she's warm. Okay, I'm going to kill the heat. I'm killing the heat. And let me go for Primavera because it is a shimmer. Okay, so you see, I'm just wedging her right in that corner, and there's no room for me, like nothing. There's hardly any room for me to put wiggle in it. But here we go. Oh, boy, this is not... I got nothing. Um, she's, she's in there solid. I think what we're seeing is just manufacturing differences. I don't think that, whoopsie daisy, I don't think that this is like, you know, the palette's older or anything like that, really. Because I think I've got these two within a year of each other. I didn't get Modern Renaissance when it first launched. I got it, like, probably a year after it had already launched. At this point, we've gotten the heat pretty good to her. Let me see if I can even put my hand on it, on the bottom of the palette anymore. Um, I mean, it's substantially warm. Let's put it that way. It's substantially warmer <laughs> than the um, soft glam had to be. All right, I'm gonna try with the warm taupe. Wish me luck. Let's go in. Okay, this one, okay, okay, you see, you see, she coming, oh, boom. Okay, so maybe, yeah, maybe my first inference was right, or my first hypothesis was correct, that the glue might just be different on these pans. It does feel different. Here, let me show you the other one. So this is like burnt, yeah, look at that. Do you see how, like, this one has more glue, and it's covered the whole thing, and this 
is different. It even feels different. The glue does feel different. So I'm gonna leave warm taupe right there. I can feel the heat coming off of it, so now I'm getting a little bit worried that I'm, you know, kind of messing with the integrity of the product, but nobody wants to pay $90 for a Z Potter. I mean, and really honestly, the Z Potter is gonna do the same thing that your, <laughs> your stove's doing to it. And that is, okay, come on. All right, let's hope that this doesn't. Okay, now I do feel like it's going in a little bit easier. Oops, did I just literally put my finger? Oh, she just popped right out, so boom. Goodness gracious. Now again, we don't wanna mess with the integrity of the palette because we wanna keep that intact. Oh, she's a little hot. Yeah, I can still put my hand on it, but substantially, like, this is warm. This is warmer than body temperature for sure. How did I get this out? Oops. It went in there at one point. I had it out. Okay. I just had to, like, give it a go. Um, and now I can feel the pan feels a little bit warmer to the touch. But, you know, like, it would be equivalent to leaving your palette in say a camper <laughs> in the heat of the summer and then you know like you turn off the the ac i don't know okay so then i'm gonna go ahead and put that one over here and i'm just gonna show you so i have over here this is the one from the soft glam this is from the abh one and i just i'm trying to keep them kind of in order so anyways just letting you know that's what i'm doing Okay, back to my regularly scheduled show here. Let's go for Vermeer. I'm not feeling very uh, confident at this point, and I, I feel like I need a shimmer to uh, pet me up a little bit. So let's go in for the uh, the Vermeer. Oh, oh, she just went in for, like, the stab. I'm Again, I am keeping it, oopsie-daisy, on the heat. I'm not taking it off the heat, but the heat is kilt. It's kilt. You know what I mean? It's off. So, I mean, there's still like heat coming from the glass range top, range top coming into this, no doubt. But I'm trying to do this so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm able to wedge it in. Okay, now she in focus. All right, and I'm going to get my scissors all the way down, and then I'm just going to really, I mean, I'm taking a risk by doing that. But at the same time, I do feel like, why doesn't this come off? These suckers are hot. There we go. Not exactly the prettiest, but again, hmm, I didn't really have that much glue on it. I'm, I'm surprised I had as much problems as I did. I didn't have that much glue on it. Look, that's not that much contact that it's making with the palette. So a little bit, little bit unsure of myself, folks. <laughs> um... Let's go ahead and go in for Love Letter next. Um, just because that is a satin, so maybe I have a little bit better luck with that one. I don't know. All right, again, jabbing her in. And then I feel like the farther down, and then, okay, so I feel like you get down so far, and then just the way that these are shaped, these scissors, just pop them right up. I'm going to link... Boy, this is going to be hard because I think we got these from Germany. And so I think I could link them from Amazon.de, but nobody from the United States would be able to order them, including myself. Um, I do have family that lives in Germany, so that's how we were able to get them. They were kind of gifted to us. Like, that's the kind of stuff I ask for for Christmas is nail scissors. But anyways, here is Love Letter. That was quite substantially, you can see right there, that made a lot of contact with the palette in the glue so you know I'm not feeling too and I know red ochre used to be in a single I'm pretty sure I could look it up on Temptalia oh okay now it's like to the point where it's hot you you wouldn't want to rest your finger on it okay and then I'm gonna plop my finger in there oh yeah and then okay so two things here I think perhaps a different type of either a glue and or glue machine the way that it the glue is being placed in 
and are around the palettes and the pans because look that's quite a bit of contact of glue whereas the other palette didn't have it secondly this palette right here the actual wells are a little bit tighter proximity to the pans so it's i mean i'm wedging this puppy in there and i'm i just don't have any room to like pop it up and so it's it's giving me resistance so anyways there you go that is Boyne Fresco, and I think that's it. Those are all of the ABH singles that I have. So what I'll do next here is I'm going to show you guys a little tool that I'm gonna to use to place in some magnetic strips. So that, excuse me, so that these pans can sit inside their palette and be used just like a regular palette, but when I need to use them as singles, I can just pop them right out. Okay, I am back with some extra tools. Down below in my description box, you'll see I have linked um, some common depotting tools that I like to use, and these magnetic adhesive strips are there. And you can see that I have been popping out um, some circular pan ones. I actually found these little stamper thingies. What they are is they actually cut out um, pieces of paper, but I'm I, they actually do work on... Uh, the magnetic adhesive paper that I have linked down below. I'm going to be adding these to the list because this comes in a pack of four. For $14.99 at Hobby Lobby when you find it on sale, you can get this one which is about three quarters of an inch long. You get a circular pan that is 25 millimeters. So it's the perfect size for a well, you know, a, a standard size pan and that's originally why I bought it. And then also, if you do not have a pair of Fiskars, y'all need to get a pair of Fiskars. Uh, these are the fabric ones, so they're coated and they just cut amazingly. Um, I can link, these are the kids' Fiskars and they're right-handed ones, but they also make left handies And then um, I don't know if they still sell the ice cream ones, but if they do, I will link them. But I will, above all, I'm going to link the pair that you can get, but the... You can get these for like a dollar fifty to two dollars um, when school starts, right after school has started, or like really close to it. You can get these on sale, and they're super cheap. They are amazing quality. I have about half a dozen pair, and my kids constantly use them. Um, they're constantly cutting up crafts and stuff like that, so these are really really handy to have. Okay, so what I've done is cut off the excess. Um, holes that I've created and I'm going to show you guys here I'm gonna stick this cutter in there and what I'll do is I'll just place it right there and then stamp out a piece that actually happened to fall down oh and I was gonna bring okay so these are falling down but anyways you get the point um this is three quarters of a Oh my goodness, folks, look at what we got here. They fit in there perfectly. I thought they were going to be too big, and I was going to have to just kind of shave them down, but they fit perfectly. <gasps> yeah, that's right, because these are like 0.73, and I think this is 0.7. So it's actually just a little bit loose, but I can literally take off the backing. And I kept this this palette on top of the warm um, stove, not because I'm like... Crazy. Well, yes, I am crazy, but also I wanted to keep the glue that's on the palette kind of warm so that I can put one of these. Boy, I like to never got that thing off. But anyways, there you go. And then I'm just going to place this down here into this bottom of this and just kind of make sure that I have all that out. And then I'm taking my burnt orange, which I... I already know is this one there we go and then I oops yeah so I'm just gonna let this one is really my modern Renaissance palette is gonna be difficult because of the fact that these are so so tightly guarded around these but you can see oh lord have mercy do you see that I just dumped a bunch of that out anyways whatever you know I never use these palettes anyways there you go. Anyways, you get the point. Just go ahead and lay. 
and I will link these down below. They're available at Hobby Lobby. Now, some of you guys have said, I'm not going to shop at Hobby Lobby. Uh, you can check out Michael's. I don't have a Michael's near me, so I don't go to Michael's. I apologize. Um, you could probably check Michael's. Amazon has a set, and it's for three of them, but you get them for $15, and here you can get four of these. It comes with star, heart, and then the circle and the square, which I kept the circle and the square, and I gave the heart and the star to my kids. So they use the heart and the star. They're plenty busy, and they love them, and then I get my uh, square and my circle. So, Anyways, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys found this useful. You do not need to go out and buy the Z-Pot depotter z palette depotter you can just use your range top stove here you can see it's just a glass range top that's all it is my dirty kettle you've seen it here it's all happening hope you guys are enjoying this please subscribe if you haven't already and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye